You guys keep... Okay. You shall not pass! <laughs> Carla, hey, what's up? No, I thought Caitlin was with you. Caitlin? Barry? Caitlin? Are you okay? What are you doing here? Your mom called trying to find you. You said you were staying with her, but she says she hasn't seen you since the funeral. That you haven't returned her calls. I changed my mind. Okay. Well, what's it, what is going on? I've been working on some stuff. What is it? You know you can ask for my help with anything. I know I can, but... But what? Caitlin, talk to me. <laughs> okay. What's this doing here? Okay, I know how this looks. Caitlin, what's this doing here? Barry, just listen to me. The mirror gun split Frost and me into two people once before. It took her from my subconscious and gave her a body. So I, I've been running tests over and over again. And there must still be a piece of Frost inside of me. So if I can access those latent pieces in my subconsciousness, then I can bring her back. Okay, I, I, I know what you're thinking, and, and frankly, if I was in your shoes, I'd probably be thinking the same thing. But just for one second, imagine this isn't Frost that we're talking about. What if we could bring your mom back? Or your dad? What would you do to make that possibility a reality? We don't have to say goodbye to Frost. Caitlin, losing someone you love can make it really hard to move on. But as difficult as it is, you have to accept that Frost is gone and that she's not coming back. But I don't want to. It's the only way to start living again. I can do this. I have to. I'm sorry. Mary, Mary, please. Sorry.